What's going on everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back to the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod is a highly, highly requested mod. I know a lot of you know about it, if not all of you, and it has the GLSL Shaders mod, or otherwise known as the Sonic's Unbelievable Shaders mod, or just a Shaders mod, but this is a modified version of it since the mod creator has not updated it since 1.2.5, I believe. So, we now have it back. And it's very awesome. So for those of you who have not seen it before, as always, I do show you the mod before. I show you how to install it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and hop my world here. Now, this bumps up the graphics of your game by far. If you do not have a good computer, you really do not want to run this mod, especially if you already have lag in Minecraft. Your, your uh, computer will not be able to handle this, I guarantee you. Um, I've noticed that my computer um, that I built myself sometimes it'll it doesn't lag or anything but I can tell uh, the card fans and my CPU cooler is all starting to the fans are speeding up so I know my computer is heating up so here's what it looks like it's got nice shadows everywhere you can see your own shadow which to me is one of the coolest things and if we come over to a tree you can see that the tree is waving like the wind is blowing the leaves which just looks absolutely amazing and you can see the water is also um, implemented as well. That was the water shader mod, um, and they kind of combined the GSL, the GLSL unbelievable shaders mod and the water shader mod. So you have both in one because before they were not both compatible, so you weren't able to have them both. But now you can have both of them, so it makes Minecraft look incredibly realistic. Um, see, I can see that my world is taking quite a bit longer to load the chunks than it normally would and that is because this mod is very very graphics intensive so again if you do not have a very powerful computer like if you're on a standard laptop or something this mod is probably not something you want to install because minecraft just won't be enjoyable uh, due to the lag when i come down to the water you can see it looks realistic and it just looks amazing it's all waving and everything uh, you can see it does come up to the exact level of the blocks here and if you go underneath water, it's like when you go swimming underwater, everything kind of looks a little bit different. Um, I think that they should change the, color, the colors up a little bit in the distance. It looks a little bit too grayish. But when you're right next to a block, you can see that uh, the colors are there and everything is fine. But the further out you look, the more gray it looks. And it kind of reminds me of Mirror's Edge a little bit. So if we come over here... Uh, you can see all the animals playing and everything, and the sun. When you look at it, you can see you get some like flares across your screen, which just looks awesome again. And we'll use this as an example right here. If the sun is blocked by something, you can see the light rays of the sun, or the sun's rays going around the blocks, which again, just more amazingness added by this mod. Um, over here where we have the structure of the house, you can see... Uh, this little vine thing I made and everything is all waving around. Um, I do have a texture pack on, so you can't see the grass moving like you'd be able to with a default texture pack. So let me go ahead and switch over to a default texture pack. Let's go ahead and options, video settings, texture packs, set it back to default. So there you go. That is what the grass looks like when you're on the default texture pack. Um, but I did notice when I'm on the default texture pack, there's sort of like a ghosting of a lot of the blocks within Minecraft, as you can see up there in the edge. And I can even see through my hand more right now. Um, so that's something that I really don't like. Plus, I just really don't like the default texture pack, so I'm kind of biased about that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and show you nighttime after I switch back over to the Mises texture pack. Takes a little bit here. Come on, switch over. There we go. Uh oh. Don't freeze up on me. Okay. So now we'll switch it over to midnight. And you can see at night it looks awesome as well. You can see the glow of this is coming from all the lights that I have right here and all, especially the lava. But um, if we look off into the distance, everything is lit up very, very nicely. Um, I believe it enhances the uh, shading of the lights as well, 
and the water is very nice. I think a cool feature would be that at night, the waving of the leaves and water kind of calms down, since that's how it naturally is um, in like reality, in the real world. World. So that would be a cool feature to be added that when it gets uh, nightfall, that the leaves and the water kind of calm down a little bit, because you can see that they are still pretty wavy. Actually, they kind of seem to be a little bit calmed down. No, I take that back. It just comes in waves. So, yeah, this to me is just beautiful. It looks absolutely amazing. But again, I can't stress this enough. If you do not have a powerful enough computer, I would suggest not even trying to install this mod because you won't be happy with the results. So, that is the GLSL Shaders mod. Very awesome mod. A lot of you guys have been requesting this, so I'm doing it for you today. So I now need to clear up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Alright, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archive program. Um, pretty much all archive programs will work exactly the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. However, I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. You will then need to download Optifine. Uh, there's only one version of Optifine, which is the HDUD3 version. And then we have the shaders mod, and we have um, a shader pack as well. So to download these files, I'll go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description. So first off, for the GLSL shaders mod, the modified version. If we go ahead and scroll down, we have the information of what the mod does, uh, what it does to your Minecraft, and then we have the releases right here which is the shaders mod which is version 1.3.5 again for minecraft uh, 1.4.7 and you have to use the optified hd ultra d3 so let's go ahead and right click the download button and do open link and new tab because we will we will need to be coming back to this page and this will bring us over to a media fire and you just click on download to download the mod so that is how to download the actual shaders mod then you will have to download a shader pack. So if we come down here, now there are multiple different versions of the shader pack. I would recommend downloading the version 10RC6 and make sure you download either one of these, but make sure it has uh, your computer's compatible with it. Like this one's compatible with Windows and NVIDIA or AMD graphics only. And it's not compatible with Intel HD graphics, which is pretty much integrated graphics on your motherboard. If you don't know what all this means, try both of them and find out which one works best for you. Um, for most people, it will probably be the first one. So go ahead and click on this link right here. And this will bring us over to a Facebook post, which I'm not sure why, but uh, it's a little bit weird. But this link right here is broken. Uh, but I found out if you scroll down in the comments section, you will see another uh, link from a, a user called Diego Fiera. And if you click on that media file link, it will bring you to a um, the same file. It just is something he uploaded, I'm sure. And again, just click on download to download that mod. So that is how to download the actual shaders mod itself and the shader pack, which you will need. Now, if we go ahead and come over to Optifine and scroll down, the only version of Optifine that will work for Minecraft 1.4.7 right now is the preview of the Optifine HD D3 Ultra for Minecraft 1.4.6 and 1.4.7. So again, go ahead and click on download. This will then bring us over to an ad fly that'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad. And this will just bring us over to a optifine.net page and just go ahead and click on download optifine. And it will download optifine for you. So that is how to download all of the files you will need to install this mod. So when you're ready to install the mod, go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming, open your dot Minecraft, then open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archive program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now go ahead and minimize the bin because we will be coming back to this later on in the tutorial. So do not close it. Go ahead and just minimize that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Optifine. And you're going to want to put all of these files into your Minecraft jar. And the easiest way to highlight them all would be to hold Control, then hit A. And simply drag all of this into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. 
go ahead and close down Optifine now. Now open up the Shaders mod. And again, you want to put all these files into your Minecraft jar, so highlight them all and drag them on in and hit OK. Go ahead and close the Shaders mod. Now, you should have MetaInf in your Minecraft jar. If you do not have this already, that is OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, or I'm sorry, right click it, then select Delete Files, then hit Yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you are always deleting MetaInf when installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it will make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close down your Minecraft jar. And you should have minimized your bin. So go ahead and bring that back up. And go ahead and hit Back. So we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now you're going to need to create a new folder in your .minecraft folder called the shader packs. So go ahead and right click within the .minecraft folder, go down to new, select folder. This will of course create a new folder that you want to rename shader packs. So just shader, S-H-A-D-E-R, and then packs, P-A-C-K-S. So once you have your shader packs folder, no capitalizations, Go ahead and open that up and then simply open up the uh, shader pack folder which will be named uh, sus sort of s-e-u-s this file right here go ahead and open that up and then take the shader pack zip file and drag it on into the shader packs folder now you can go ahead and close both these files down and that's it you're done installing the mod so i know this installation could be a bit confusing so if you need to just take your time go back over the steps and make sure you have everything installed correctly so you don't get a black screen so go ahead and leave down in the comment section below a um, request for future mod tutorials and I will go ahead and get to them as soon as possible so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time